At Clean Industries, all waste has value. The Clean Loop, built on blockchain technology, will create a secure marketplace for the buying and selling of commodities and services surrounding recycling and waste management. All Clean Loop users have access to accurate real time industry data and smart contracts for quick and credible transactions with efficient payment options. Meet Arnold, the brain behind the Clean Loop. With the use of artificial intelligence machine learning, he solves your waste and recycling problems. This innovative and easy to use interface allows all users to navigate the Clean Loop. Arnold's photo recognition and text input utilities identify, calculate volume, and evaluate all kinds of waste. Arnold also makes sure that all transactions are incentivized and that Clean Loop participants are rewarded. Let's say you're an American tire pyrolysis facility that processes over 60 tons of scrap tires a day. That's 20,000 metric tons annually, or 2 million tires. The plant runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you need a steady and consistent supply of tires. Shipping is expensive, and the quality of feedstock is extremely important. This is challenging at the best of times. You need a better solution. As a Clean Loop user, you know all waste has value, so let's ask Arnold who has it, where is it, and how much it's going to cost. You need 1,000 metric tons of a specific composition of tire at a primary shred size and to know your logistics budget for shipping. So, you choose the text input utility to enter your scrap tire specifications. All you have to do is upload your spreadsheet into the text utility. Arnold then searches the clean loop for the best possible recycled tire solutions. Arnold gives you three options, pickup, delivery service, or clean bid. Arnold has a number of tire recyclers on the clean loop. So, you select delivery service, which brings your tire feedstock directly to your facility. Arnold sends the query out to potential feedstock providers on the clean loop. A large regional tire recycler is located. The recycler responds with the offer of 15 clean coin per ton of single pass shredded scrap tire to your specifications, including shipping, and to deliver your 1,000 tons of feedstock in two business days. The offer is reasonable, and you press accept. The tire recycler has a trucking company they use for regional shipments and sends them the bill of lading through the clean loop. They arrange payment and time of pickup. When the trucking company shows up at the collection facility, the driver opens the DAP and confirms the order details. Arnold confirms the tonnage and specifications for the trucking service and the driver presses accept. The containers of shredded tire are loaded and shipped to your pyrolysis facility. Upon arrival, the shipment is weighed and confirmed by Arnold. The primary shredded tires are added to the other sources of feedstock. The primary shredded tires are then run through your facility's secondary shredder, removing the fiber and steel, preparing the processed tire feedstock for pyrolysis. The secondary shredded tires are fed directly into the pyrolysis reactor, where it is gasified and distilled into diesel fuel. A portion of the recovered fuel and heat is utilized to produce steam, and the recovered carbon black is pelletized and bagged. The pelletized recovered carbon black is sold to a regional auto parts manufacturer. The excess steam is sold to a neighboring food processing facility. The recovered diesel fuel is sold to a local oil refinery. The recovered steel is sold to a nearby rebar factory. And the tire fiber is sold to a local cement plant. All via the clean loop, which creates a circular economy. Now that everything has been confirmed by Arnold, the exchange of clean coin can now proceed. You transfer 15,000 clean coin to the tire recyclers, and the validator receives 375 clean coin. From the products produced during the pyrolysis process, the exchanges are initiated with the other established clean loop users. The auto parts manufacturer transfers you 340,000 clean coin for the pelletized recovered carbon black. The food processing facility transfers 165,000 clean coin for the steam. You receive 110,000 clean coin from the refinery who purchased the recovered diesel fuel. You receive 18,000 clean coin for the recovered steel from the rebar factory. You then receive 250 clean coin for the fiber from the cement plant. And last but not least, the validator earns 15,625 clean coin for validation of all transactions and is added to the blockchain. And there we have it. Another quick, efficient, and secure regional waste exchange successfully completed on the clean loop. Arnold is now ready to provide another resource recovery solution.